Separating all the minds from the men Breaking it down from beginning to the end Got their finger on the pulse of every trend It's Steve and Tali when they looking through the lens Steve Nash, the Brooklyn Nets. How you feel about that, Steve? <laughs> Yo, man. Y'all know, people, y'all know how I Yo. feel about Kem Durant and Steve N and Kyrie Irving. And I'm just gonna say, God help them. Cause those two guys, Steve Nash, need all the coaching they could get. Nash. They need all the coaching they could get. Are you gonna go pick up a rookie coach? Steve Let me make out a few points. Nah. He signed. He got signed to a four-year contract, right? Four-year contract. <laughs> Kem Durant is how old? Thirty-one. Yes. So that means most likely they're looking for Steve Nash to finish out Kem Durant's championship years with Steve Nash. Yes. A fresh coach. Right. Yes. First-year coach. First-year coach. Never. No coaching experience. What happened to like coaches like Mark Jackson? That's. A great coach. Ty Lue. What happened to Ty, Ty Lue? Even not if Ty Lue, but Mark Jackson, and then Ty Lue clearly knows basketball. Why is, why is Steve Nash getting the job? And then he wants to go and ask your homeboy Dirk if he wants to come coach with him. <laughs> Dirk has no coaching experience whatsoever. Let me tell you something. Sean Marks is doomed. The Nets organization is doomed, doomed. for failure. Because we could agree that Kyrie can't guide himself, or I'm just chatting. No, he, that's very accurate, like extremely accurate. Durant, his leading skills look like they got better over the years. But I'm telling but still, you. Durant is going to defer exactly. to Kyrie Irving. He will defer to Kyrie Irving. And let me tell you something. None of them are leaders. Sean Marks did, did not tell a soul he was hiring Steve Nash. You know why? Because they would have killed him, they would have killed him, and they would have killed him. They would have crucified him, like they crucified Jesus. But it looked like the players, I saw Spencer Dinwiddie post on Twitter and said, y'all wanted the third superstar, here y'all go. So I feel like the next player liked that move. Why? I don't really know. Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and 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 bash Steve Nash like he's not a brilliant. No, of course not. Knowledge. Yeah, of course I would never say that. I know he's smart, but I just want to know. I have, it could work though. I, it no, can it could work. But I have two speculations. One, what happened to all these black coaches that have been sent down, waiting for a job that we know are good coaches, and two, Steve Nash has no teaching, has, has no coaching. His, has no good coaching history. And like I said, Kem Durant, this is championship year for him. The next two, three years for Kem Durant is championship years. He has no time to waste anymore. It's, it's straight go time. Even though he's not gonna win because Lakers is there, but <laughs> we're not talking about that right now. That's, that's not my point, people. You understand I, what I'm saying? I, 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 think, I think it has the potential to work. I'm not gonna wish, I don't, I don't wish down for anybody. No, but, of course not. But my first but, point but was Steve that. But Nash, Steve Nash, it did work in Golden State. Mm. And, and with Steve Kerr? Yes. Oh, Steve when Mark Kerr. Jackson built up that team, another black coach, right? Yeah. Oh, when they went from 20 wins to when Mark Jackson to 30 wins to 40 to 50, right? Mm -hmm. Then Steve Kerr came and took it after. He built up Draymond Green and all those players, right? Yeah. but And he's, built up that defense. Uh, we're not going to sit here and take away credit No, Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr still did his thing with the offense. Yes. He brought the offense. Thank you. To a hundred. Yeah. But Mark Jackson was with those boys. Yeah, Mark. No from, doubt, they was nothing. No doubt in my mind, Mark Jackson okay. should have a job. Okay. And but I think Ty Lue's gonna get a job. That's like I think Ty Lue definitely gonna get a job this this offseason. But what I'm saying is, if it worked in in Steve in the Steve Kerr regime, mm. and Steve Kerr and Steve Nash was consulting or whatever he was doing with Golden State. Okay. I think I think I think they have a shot to 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 make some noise in the East. No, no, they can. You have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. That should already be a plus for you. Yeah. And then I'm not saying Steve Nash is gonna be a bad coach. I'm just saying it's a little, it's a little iffy for me. Separating all the mice from the men, breaking it down from beginning to the end. Got their finger on the pulse of every trend. It's Steve and Tyreek when they looking through the lens.